Yo, what is going on everybody? It's your boy Gripper Rip back here with another video for you guys today. And in this video, we're going to be talking about all you need to know before you buy 2022 Bowman Chrome. Bowman Chrome, a highly anticipated release, releases today along with 2022 Topps Heritage Minor League. So we're going to talk about in this video everything you need to know, all the configurations, what you get in each box, and I'll give you my opinions on whether or not it is worth it. So before we get into that, let's try to get a like goal of 120 likes. Can we get 120 likes on this video? You guys have been achieving all the like goals as of late. So if you guys can keep it going with 125 likes, that would be awesome. And second thing before we get into it, my merchandise releases this Friday at 1 p.m., Tomorrow on Thanksgiving, sometime in the afternoon, whenever I remember to do it, I will put a sneak preview of my merchandise on my community tab. What we're going to do is we are going to run a little giveaway for people who buy merch. So what's going to happen is when you buy merch, DM me on Instagram, Grip Rip Sports Cards, the proof of purchase, like your receipt, saying you bought a hoodie or a t-shirt. And I will put you in a drawing to win an update blaster box. Um, don't know when the giveaway will end. Uh, I'll figure that out in a couple days. But I'll give you a lot of time in case you know you want to buy some merch. So uh, we have t-shirts and hoodies. So let's say they're they're printed on demand. So they're never going to sell out. So let's say if 100 shirts are made, then that's it. 100 shirts are made. So it all depends on you know how many people buy so whoever DMs me proof of purchase, you have to DM me on my Instagram. I'll see it. I'll reply to you so you make sure that you know I've seen it. And I will put you in the drawing and I'll put all the Instagram names on the like randomizer and I'll randomize whoever comes on top uh, on the on the top of the leaderboard there uh, will be the winner of the blaster box. So hopefully you guys participate in that. I really like the shirt. Uh, we're going to have a lot more. Uh, probably closer to when baseball season starts. Uh, but I like this design for now. It's a really cool design. Uh, it's very simple, and it gets my name out there. And it's, you know, it's really cool. So hopefully you guys enjoy it just as much as I do. So with that out of the way, let's talk about Boma Chrome, shall we? Boma Chrome, another release on the Topps calendar. People have been anxiously waiting for. I don't know in years past what time it usually releases, I was never one to buy Bowman Chrome. Um, you know, I really stick to prospects in terms of Bowman. I just buy normal Bowman, typically. Never really went after and bought Bowman Chrome. But this year, I might try it out to see what happens. We're going to talk about, there's two configurations, all right? We're going to start out with the light box first. There's a light box, okay? But here's the thing, guys. Don't go to your local card stores today thinking that the light boxes are going to be there because they are a week later. Tomorrow's the 23rd. I should say, well, when the video goes live, today's the 23rd, but it, the light box is released on the 30th. So don't go to your Walmarts, or actually not Walmart, your local card stores, thinking you're going to find a light box today because the light boxes come out next week. Only the hobby boxes, the more expensive ones, drop today. But we're going to cover both in this video because I didn't really want to make another video next week saying watch before you buy tops or I should say Bowman Chrome Lite, uh, and I'd rather just keep it like this. So let's start out with the cheaper version first, then we'll work our way to the more expensive version, and then I will, you know, give my thoughts and opinions on whatnot. So the light box is going to cost you about $175, give or take, depending on where you buy it. Uh, the pack configurations are five cards a pack with 10 packs. That is 50 cards. So you're getting 50 cards for $175. And you are only guaranteed five exclusive black and white mini diamond parallels. If you guys remember, I opened the um, the light box of hair, or I should, or I should say uh, the light box of um, Platinum Anniversary. So it looks like for the light boxes now, what Topps is doing are these black and white mini diamond parallels, which look really cool. So that's, I mean, a positive. If you can get like a, a great Bowman first rookie out of one of those parallels, it's going to be worth something. Speaking of checklists, um, I will be covering the checklist. So I'm not going to cover the checklist in this video because I, quite frankly, haven't really looked at it yet in depth. 
I know key rookies like Bobby Witt and things like that, like Julio, are in this set. But you want to focus on, obviously, the Bowman uh, you know, prospects, because that's obviously what this set is made for. And, you know, getting to the checklist, there is a 200 card checklist, right? And it's 100 rookies and stars, like your Julios, your Mike Trouts. And then you got your 100 prospects, like Ellie De La Cruz. Uh, who else? I'm drawing a blank. Who was in Bowman this year? Um, George Valera for the Cleveland Guardians. He was on my top five, I believe, in, in uh, Bowman. So people like that, you know. So basically how this set works is all the people who were in Bowman earlier in the year, in like April or May, whatever that release came out, are going to be in this set. Keep in mind, no draft people from 2022 are in this set. That set, Bowman Draft, releases in a couple weeks. I believe right before Christmas, December 21st or the 18th. One of those two days. Something like that. But there are no 2022 draft draftees in this set. So if you were expecting to find Jackson Holiday or like a Tamar Johnson or someone like that or a Kumar Rocker because he got drafted again, uh, you know, either you're not going to be in the set. They're not in here. Uh, Bowman Draft uh, is where you're going to find them. So these people in Bowman Chrome are the 2021 prospects like Henry Davis and, and people like that. And whoever was drafted in, in, in 2021, like Marcelo Mayer, you know, people like that. So don't expect to find anyone from 2022 in here. Uh, you're going to have to wait a couple more weeks. And then you'll start finding, you know, Bowman Chromes of those people in Bowman Draft, which is going to be another great set. So now that we covered the light price, let's talk about the light box for a minute. You know, light boxes are interesting. They're half the price of the hobby. There's no guarantees in such of autographs. 50 cards for $175. I mean, this is Bowman Chrome, so, you know, 50 cards for $175. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. Let me know in the comments section. Do they do retail of this stuff? I tried to search up blaster boxes for this stuff and things like that, but it looks like there are none. I, I swear in years past, Bowman Chrome was a retail release as well. But I tried to find things, like I tried to find like pre-order pre websites and things like that for this, and I couldn't find them. I looked up 2022 Bowman Chrome Blaster Boxes, and there's nothing, or like a mega box. I swear in years past they did them. Um, this year, I don't know. So let me know in the comment section, have they done retail, or are they doing retail this year for Bowman Chrome? Because I looked all over the internet right before I started recording this video, to try to find anything, because I was going to cover that as well in these price guides. And I did not find a single bit of information regarding any retail regarding this set. I even looked for the hobby only, like, insignia on the box. As you guys know, if it's a hobby exclusive product, it'll have, that, like, that H on it. Uh, but it, I couldn't I couldn't find it either. It wasn't on the box art either, so I have no idea. So... Let me know about that, and now let's get into the Hobby Box, which is going to cost you $325. It's going to give you 12 packs with 5 cards a pack, that totals to 60 cards. So for nearly double the price, you're only getting 10 extra cards in this box. But the selling point on this is 2 Chrome Autographs, 2 on-card Chrome Autographs. So, you know, it's the price you're willing to gamble. It's more like a, a gamble, really. It's if you want to risk, it's, it's you know, risk versus reward sort of with this. Um, like I said, the checklist, I have not read it yet. Tomorrow, we will cover it in the top five most valuable in Bowman Chrome. Uh, I would probably put rookies in Bowman Chrome, top five most valuable, but let's be real now. This is Bowman Chrome. This ain't Topps Chrome or Topps Chrome Update. You know, we're not covering that just yet. Uh, in a couple weeks, we will be. But, you know, this set is dedicated for the prospects I would like to put Julio on the top five, but, you know, with with all the prospects and, you know, I have to read up on each individually, uh, I kind of have an idea who's going to be a top five. I have to do a little more research, though, before I can solidify that list. But, uh, you know, I'd like to put Julio on that list because, realistically, he would be more valuable than all those other guys. But, you know, it's Bowman first. You know, Bowman first sell more than, you know, let's say a rookie card. But, um 
and instances like a parallel of that rookie card or that Bowman first or and or an auto of that player, which can happen. I didn't read the auto checklist either. I might do that for tomorrow's video. Um, but, you know, 325 for 60 cards and two chrome autographs, that's like, like I said, a risk versus reward sort of thing. You know, so some boxes will probably be really good. Some boxes, on the other hand, will be probably be really bad. So it's just whether or not you're feeling lucky enough to buy a box for $325 and to hopefully pull something good. I would hope they would at least put one decent parallel per box at that price. I would hope they would put something good or like a parallel auto, like one guaranteed parallel auto. Then that would make the price a little more worth it. But, you know, some boxes will be good. Some boxes will be bad. That's just the nature of buying sports card boxes. So it's more like what you want to do. I personally am not going to be buying a hobby box, uh, 325 way out of my price range. Um, I'm probably going to buy singles. I will. If, I mean, I think O'Neill Cruz has a, a rookie card in there, so I'll be buying him. I'll probably buy an Julio when the price is right and the price is accurate. You know, don't buy singles first. That's the golden rule. Uh, if you're like me and wanting to buy singles out of this stuff, don't do it first day because they're all going to be really expensive. Wait like a month and you're going to find that it's like 75% decreased in price and that's where you buy them. So that's what you should probably do if you're like me. You know, the light, the light boxes, five diamond parallels, 50 cards, I mean, 175 with no guarantees of an autograph. You know, Bowman Chrome's a good set. I'm not saying it's not, but a lot of people for the 325 price, some people just may think that's too lot, uh, too much, including myself, you know. But some people, on the other hand, may have that money to waste, and they're, they're going to do that. And, you know, breakers, you know, buy cases of this stuff and they'll do team breaks and things like that and personals and whatever. But, you know, I'm directing my attention to Topps Chrome Update and Bowman Draft and Heritage High Number. Those are the sets I'm looking forward to and Topps Holiday, of course, because if you guys missed my video where I talked about this, I want to open a pack of 2022 Topps Holiday every day in December. The release date supposedly is November 30th, according to a couple release date websites. So, uh, you know, if that happens, I don't know. I saw a rumor going around that Walmarts are stocking twice a week for the holiday season, which I can't confirm. That did happen today at my local Walmart, by the way. I went to my Walmart not expecting to find a single new card, and I actually met the vendor. I met the new vendor. Um, I was kind of shocked. I was like, it's a Tuesday. Why is... Because in my area... Walmarts don't stock until Fridays, so it looks like for the holiday season, I would check this out if I were you. Try going to your Walmarts multiple times a week. You're going to find more cards than you typically would think. Uh, I guess Tuesdays and Fridays are going to be restock days here for the holiday season, which is good because that gives me more chance to find Topps Holiday, which is a Walmart exclusive set. Because I, I wanted to buy however many boxes I needed to fulfill 30 days worth of packs for the Christmas Christmas season. Um, so yeah, I'm going to hopefully try to find those next week. Uh, November 30th is a Wednesday, so that means I'd probably have to go to Friday's restock and hopefully find them. But again, you know, just because they release that week doesn't mean you're going to see it that week. So it might be like another week or so before I actually, or two before I start to see them. Um, you know, like Allen and Kinter. There were Allen and Kinter blasters. Um at my Walmart, but I didn't buy any because I have a hobby box and I don't typically buy a lot of Allen and Ginter because I don't like pulling these celebrity cards. I think those are a total waste. And like the trees and the Italian sub sandwiches they put in the in the inserts this year and things like that, like ducks and, and cats and things like that, you know, that's not my cup of tea. Some people like that stuff. I, I, I don't like opening cards and they're not baseball athletes, so... Let me know what you think about Bowman Chrome. I'm not going to be buying any. I'm just going to be sticking to singles. Uh, I'm directing, like I said, my focus on the Chrome update. Um, what else did I say? Draft and Holiday as well as Heritage High Number, which are all releasing within like the next two to three weeks. So a lot of baseball card releases on the horizon. Like I said, a lot of people are going to have to choose whether or not they buy a set, like set A or set B. Or like there's going to be a lot of weeks now in the upcoming month, month and a half, where we're going to be doing multiple watch before you buy videos a week. There's like two sets, literally every single week coming out. 
between the next five weeks or so. So it's going to be a very, very hectic and chaotic period for baseball cards because there's going to be loaded shelves. There are going to be loaded shelves for the Christmas season at your local Walmart and Targets. That's without a doubt. So if you go to try to find, um, you know, try to find the newest set out, which at the time, there's going to be probably, let me think here, Heritage High Number Update uh, Archives is still on the shelves. Allen & Ginter Stadium Club Holiday. There's six releases right there that are going to be brand new sitting on the shelf at your local Walmarts and Targets, minus the holiday one, uh, for Christmas. So it's going to be a, a pretty hectic and chaotic time for baseball card releases at your local retail shelves because there's going to be a lot of new stuff really quickly. So, let's get this pack open here. Let's see what we get. I love update me. I update. Hey, look, they're perfect. Right off the right off the right off the top. Right off the top. We got Julio Rodriguez and I can tell you right now we have a relic in here. I can see it right there. So, there is the first Julio Rodriguez base card I've pulled all year. Did not pull the original one yet. This is the rookie debut. Ref Snyder. Jerks and Profar. We got Wander Franco, which this is the gold parallel my brother pulled. It was this in gold. We got Rich Hill. I think this is right. Yeah, Rich Hill. We got Jock Peterson. Edward Cabrera. Let's do a slow reveal, shall we? Is this backwards? It is backwards. Well, I guess we'll do this then. The Estrada. Okay. So I didn't see who it was yet. Could it be an autograph as well? I doubt it. There's Bobby There's Bobby Witt Jr. right sitting on the back. So we got a Bobby Witt. Let's see who this is, shall we? It's a Yankee. It's not Judge because it's a left-hander batter. Anthony Rizzo. Okay, cool. And then there is Bobby Witt Jr. So this pack was actually pretty good. Uh, probably one of the better packs of this whole entire box. Aside from the pack where I pulled the Generation Now Julio. So I did pull another Julio. It was an insert, though. So that's the first base card. Got a Bobby Witt. We got a uh, Wander Franco. We got a Julio. And we got an Anthony Rizzo Relic. The Yankees are my second favorite team. So that's actually really cool. I was hoping it would be Judge. But, you know, Judge, I don't think, is going to be a Yankee for much longer. As much as that pains me to say, I think he's going to be a Giant. He's meeting with the Giants. Uh, actually, he met with them today. Today was Tuesday. Yeah, he met with them today. No news on what actually happened in that meeting. But, you know, as a Yankees fan, I'm a Pirates and Yankees fan. It pains me to see Judge potentially leaving the Yankees. I just can't see him in anything other than a Yankees uniform. But, hey, man, if the Giants get him, I hope, that, hope it works out for them. Because the Giants are going to obviously be in a tough division in the NL West with the Padres and the Dodgers. So, hey, man, if they get him, they're going to need him. So, props to them if they pull that off. So, Guys, let me know what you think about Bowman Chrome. Are you going to be buying any hobby boxes or, or are you sticking to singles? I'm interested to see what you guys have to say and I'll see you guys in the next video.